Welcome 60 Degrees viewers. We are here currently at Vicky Point checking out the all new Triumph Bonneville Bobber Black, which is the top of the range uh, version of the Bonneville Bobber. Uh, we've done a lot of Ks on here. We've taken it through the city. We've also done a lot of highway riding, a bit of a play up Malkovat Mountain. Uh, so we've had quite an experience on this bike. I will say one thing though, this bike is not built for distance. You will be uncomfortable after probably 200 Ks. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing a lot of long hours on here, but it doesn't disappoint in terms of riding. It will lure you in with its seductive looks. Sitting oh so low, slammed and stretched out, with a distinguishing quality built 1200cc parallel twin engine, pumped with 106 Newton meters of torque at 4000 RPM, it will string your soul to the tarmac roads by bringing off a full sense of strong emotions whilst leaving you with a devilish grin as it charges out from the long sweeping corners. Just listening to its thunderous call, it only makes sense that this is Triumph's best-selling motorcycle. It's a really fun bike to it ride. It is a fun bike to ride. It is. It's, it left a big smile on my face, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, so what you lose by doing long hours in the saddle on this bike, you make up for by doing really quick short runs, fun runs, up, up and down Glorious, Nebo, back down. You, you could do that quite comfortably. Hmm and you're not going to get tired, but you wouldn't find yourself riding this to Cairns and back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. I'm not saying this is a bad bike. This is a great cruiser. For its category, it is fantastic. Uh, all the little things that they've chucked on here, it's, there's always something extra to look at. Band strap for the, for the fuse box. Not zip ties. No, not zip ties. <laughs> and, and they've actually spent a bit of money and put a stainless steel band tie on it. And the fuel cap, uh, not the fuel cap, the, the oil filler on the other side. Yes. I love the throttle bodies that still look like carburetors and no, they're not covered up, ladies and gentlemen. They are there for the eye to see, a very pleasing. And that's something yeah, you've been wanting for a long time. <laughs> so they are very good. Uh, Ascents on the, on the uh, headwork here where the paint's been stripped back to aluminium, things like that. It's very common now, but still one of those little things that they can do just to break the black up. I love how Triumph has just slammed their icon everywhere on this bike. You see it on the tank, you see it here with the Bonneville 1200, the Triumph here, the Bobber Black Bonneville. But I'm not mad about it. It's it's cool. It's cool. I like the new triangular Triumph T that they're doing. That's very stylish. The colours that it comes out with is a gloss black and a matte black for the Triumph Bobber Black. Personally, I think the gloss black, uh, it's, it splits it up really well. As much black as there is on it, there's not too much. There's not too much, no. no. We all love a black motorcycle, but sometimes it's going to be a case where it's a bit... Something about a black motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The foot pegs are low on here, quite low to the ground, stretched out. It's got the length there, presents it quite well. Uh, obviously has the fenders on there for legal reasons. Technically a legal, or, or technically a traditional bobber has no fenders on the front or rear, or they're chopped at least. Accessory items on this bike that we have currently are the engine guard, so they do not come standard on here. That is an optional extra, as well as the uh, rubber mounted tank guards just here. It's almost like a, a tank grip that you'll never use. <laughs> So what are some of the key features that this particular Bobber Black sets out from the standard model? Firstly, it now comes with a full LED uniquely designed daytime running headlight which can be switched back and forth to your standard light. And it is also kitted out with a simple to use single button cruise control, a breeze to use that even a first grader could use it, with one press of a button to enable it and a second press setting to engage the speed. A touch on either the brakes or a twist in the throttle position will immediately disengage it. You'll find yourself being spoilt with this added feature as you'll find it comes in handy, even at the most inappropriate times. A simple gauge cluster with an adjustable mount displays all the necessary information, although the digital design RPM reader could be a little larger in our opinion. The Bobber Black also features two riding modes, road being your standard riding setting and rain for your wet conditions. It's pretty straightforward stuff. 
Oh, and did we mention it will put a smile on your face? Buys are fairly wide. Uh, good control on them. You can switch them up. You can get eight, uh, would you? Eight, eight hangers, though. They're just a raised bar set. I like the uh, chopped tail, the bobber back seat. Yes, where it gets yes. And guess what? There's Triumph written on the back of that. Well, what do you know? There is too. <laughs> just letting you know that it's a Triumph. The guard they've used here that's incorporated as a part of the swing arm, it's ingenious design when you think about being able to cut the tail right off of a bike. So where they've done that, I think it's, it looks really nice. The tail light, everything's integrated on the guard. It's fantastic. It does mean you can't remove the guard. <laughs> Nothing that a grinder can't no. fix. <laughs> Engine wise, it's got Incredible engine. Incredible engine. Beautiful ton of torque. torque. One thing the Brits do really, really well, uh, engineering. The bike has a ton of power, but it's better that it's coming on later because if it came on way too early. It's the power where you want it. Yeah. That's, that's what I believe. It's exactly where you want it and that's more in the mid range. And it, it, makes, it makes taking off smoother. The clutch changes are smoother. Uh, and the power, the, the torque, you know, it's, it, it comes on probably at about 2200 RPM. You start to really notice the, the, the lift in power in it and it, power it, it takes there. off. And, it you know, definitely that's, that's takes good. off. And the engine braking is fantastic. F fantastic. Going uphill through the mountain range, you can keep it in third, fourth, fifth, sixth, it'll do it. No problem at all. Gear changing was no issue. I didn't find any uh, false neutrals on there personally for myself. No, but getting it into neutral was a problem. I, and I had stopped, I had a lot of trouble. I had to find a go to second and come back to neutral. Going from first to neutral, it just tended to jump. Overall though, you know, I'm very pleased with the way it handled. And it made. hasn't disappointed me no, one no, bit. And very surprisingly, because this is a wider front tire here on the bubble bike. My first impressions looking at it, I thought it was gonna be a bit of a pig to turn, to maneuver, not at all. They've upgraded the brakes to Brembo brakes on this model. Yeah, um, so we've got dual disc on the front here. The standard yeah. version only has the single, single disc, disc and Nissan brake. Full Brembo setup, uh, braided lines, which we found quite impressive. The initial feel of the brakes, I don't know about you, but yeah, it, I'm finding myself slowly squeezing the brake lever and nothing really is happening until you give it a good grip and then you yeah. feel the, the, the actual I brakes grab. Don't think there was enough grip, like enough pressure on the pads. I think they could go with a triple pot or a monoblock setup would, would fix that problem. It would fix I mean, that problem. It's 220 kilos wet. 250 kilos Sorry, 250 wet. kilos wet. It's and heavy. It, it's heavy, you know, that's a big buy. That's a lot of bike trying to pull that up, you know, so. We've got six mil uh, thicker front forks compared to the standard version bobber. Uh, I found the front suspension was pretty good. Well, after riding the Moto Guzzi bobber and having the front suspension problems with it, I, mean, I was very confident on this bike. It, the suspension did make you feel uh, planted to the road. So I, I know I, I don't have any, anything bad to say about the suspension. I do wish the rear could be a little bit more adjustable. Yeah, and have and a bit more travel, travel as think, well. Yeah, have... Seat on here is adjustable lengthways, not height. It can stretch out a bit far, so if you're wanting to change your style up a little bit, having that real stretched out feel, that can be done. Uh, I did slide the seat all the way back and ended up moving it back forward again because I just found I was too stretched out. Okay. So I do like the shorter shorter uh, seating position. Being closer to the bars yeah. and everything else. Yeah, yeah, it just aids you to be a bit looser in the shoulders and arms and it just helps you ride a bit more comfortably. Mm. The seat, however, though, you sit in it at first, you think, wow, it's really, really comfortable. It really hugs your butt. It really, <laughs> really does. It sucks you down into the seat pretty quick, but the problem is when you go through corners, you can't move on it. You can't maneuver too much. Not, not, not enough. Usually a cruiser has their foot pegs right up in front. These are just about halfway in between the two. That's where I, I would go as far to say is I think it needs to have the foot pegs further forward. I went searching for all the controls forward and yeah, I go searching, it's not there. Because you get on a cruise, you think, yeah, cruise is a, a foot, feet forward sort of bike. So it's not an uncomfortable position where the pegs are. You get used Definitely. to it. Definitely. But um, yeah, look, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things. One, one of my things I noticed was the radiator could be a little bit bigger. Sitting in traffic, it was... Uh, the fan was kicking on and off and tonight's not a hot night. I think we're at about 
I think we're about 16, 16 degrees. In a hot summer's day, that would be running flat out. The bar and mirrors on here. Fantastic. Fantastic. I was Absolutely so surprised fantastic. about that. And they're nice and large, so you can see out of them. You're not just looking at your, your elbow yeah, the whole time. you're not looking at your elbows or your arms there. And you can see the roads beside you. You can see oncoming, tra oh, not oncoming traffic, well, traffic, traffic coming around. beside you, around. Professional vision where you can't yeah. normally see it. It's, yeah. it's there. A good comparison against this would be the Indian... Scout Bobber, yeah. Yeah, the Scout Bobber. To me, this is a much more visually appealing motorcycle. Obviously, this pointing thing on here, you can't put a pillion on the back of it. Uh, you'd have to look at the other Bonneville versions that they've got. <laughs> That's not bad. No, it's not a bad Triumph. <laughs> if you head over to the official Triumph Motorcycles website, there is a wide selection of genuine accessory items that allows you to personally modify your own uniquely designed Bobber Black. For instance, you can change the foot peg mounts to a more suitable forward riding position and clip on handlebars providing you with a more aggressive look. We would like to give a massive shout out to Team Moto Triumph, located in Slacks Creek, Moss Street, for lending us this magnificent cruiser. We strongly recommend for anyone looking into purchasing this particular motorcycle to take one for a test ride. Warning, side effects may include big smiles. We would also like to thank Russell Page from BK Performance, your Australian supplier for all motorcycle parts and accessories from pre-60s through to present day motorcycles. And yes, they do ship overseas. Thus concludes our video review on the all new Triumph Bonneville Bubba Black. If you have enjoyed this video review, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like, subscribe to our official 60 Degrees channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out some of our latest content. Also, check out our subscribe competition in the details in the description below. Thanks for watching, viewers.